Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo master nightfall on strange terrain. I'm doing it on void walker top tree. I'm using uh, burst glide instead of strafe. That will be really helpful at the boss, but I'll talk more about that then. We're using the Ostringer for unstoppable. Ariana's vow for barrier. Wendigo for everything. It's just so good. I've got hive armaments, hive invigoration, and hive repurposing. A couple of major specs. A solar resistance, concussive dampener, and a boss spec, and then the usual special ammo finder, scavenger, uh, grenade launcher, scavenger, obviously for the Wendigo, and a counter charge and high energy fire. They they synergize really well when it comes to champions. Every time I stop or break a barrier's champion or stop an unstoppable, I'll get a boost to my weapon damage. Really helpful. Enhanced impact. That is basically I get more grenade for a melee, for melee damage, which buys right into the, the top tree Nova uh, Void Walker's melee ability. And obviously, controversy holds for getting those grenades back. So, the biggest issue you're going to have here, there's two areas where you they're pretty tricky. One is the, the ogre section, where you've got to kill the, the, the knights and throw orbs at the, the crystals. And third, the third phase of the boss fight. And the way I've dealt with this right at the start here is a big indication of how I'm going to deal with quite a few things in this strike. So we've got taken repurposing. So every time I break a shield, I'm going to get a grenade back. The grenades, especially on top tree Nova with oppressive darkness, which I've got on my bond, are meta. There's no two ways about it. They, they just are meta. So... You seen there the way I took out that uh, the way I took out that that barrier. That's the way I'm going to be taking the barriers out, and that this is exactly how I'm going to be taking the unstoppables. There aren't too many unstoppables in this strike, so it's not something you really have to worry about too much. So take out the rest of these acolytes, and then you need to make sure before you go into the next section that you've got a grenade. So taking the barriers, we're going to put a grenade on. As soon as we break the barrier shield, we're going to get another grenade. We're also going to do more damage once we've broke the shield. And we're going to do more damage because of the grenade. So, synergy. One thing working in more than one direction is perfect. So, we throw a grenade at the top here. Stop these two shield knights just to allow them chance to really get caught in the grenade. Now, when you get to this section, you've got two arc shielded knights. Uh, and, and a host of... Uh, Acolyte, some of them sniper. You've got one elite acolyte up at the top. Take those snipers out first. You've got you've actually got three elite acolytes. You've got two around here as well. Take those snipers out, and that allows you a bit of freedom down here. If you don't take those acolytes up the top, the sniper acolytes. If you don't take them out, then they will be long range hitting you, and it's it just makes it more dangerous. You can see right here, this is very, this this is the epitome of why the Wendigo is so good. I hit that, 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 cha that champion, that knight, sorry, that arc shielded knight. He never bothered with us again because he was stunned. And it's, it's, it's all well and fine to, to, to hit somebody with, with a, a weapon that suppresses them, you know. But if you can do that and do it, you know, from range and do a ton of damage, well... You know, the Wendigo is going to be missed. Although I didn't use it a ton, it's going to be missed when it gets sunsetted. You know, heavy duty grenade launcher that gets more powerful when you pick orbs up with blinding. You know, with uh, with its ability to pick orbs up and do... You can hold six grenades in, in, in the magazine that do... I think it's a 70% increase in damage. Crazy. But... Let's take advantage of it while it's here and enjoy what comes next. That's what I say. When you get here, just toss a grenade at the opening and then go look straight to your left-hand side. There'll be a couple of ads. This time we got the exploders. Sometimes this knight will make it out of the grenade. Unfortunately for him, we were ready for him, so we just kind of mowed him down with the Ostringer. I didn't have a ton of uh, special ammo, but ammo drops quite well in, in, in this game, especially if you're using your grenades to do most of the work. Charge up, I'm going to put a rift down and I'm going to charge my grenade and I'm going to throw it into where these two knights are going to go. Once I break their shield, I'm going to charge another grenade and throw it over to the other adds so that I can be 
multitasking. Who says men can't multitask? My missus, that's who says it. Literally, what you want is to be doing as many jobs at once as possible. Just finish off this ad. You can see there with the, with the culmination of the grenades and the Wendigo makes light work of any of the ads. Again, I'm not going to push past this rock, the rock that's to my left, that one on that little rock sticking out the wall, because I don't have a grenade. Now, kind of doesn't go according to plan here. This is the first time this happened to me. One of these champions is just going to sprint past me. Never does that. So I get my grenade. You'll see what happened here. Throw the grenade. And I, I, I thought they were both there. And then I noticed that I hadn't killed both of them. And this one had just sprinted straight past me. But you'll see here exactly what's so good about the Wendigo uh, Ariana's Vow combination. I, I stored, basically, I turned around and started doing damage with Ariana. Then when I ran, when I wanted, when I broke the shield, I stored Ariana so it would reload. And use the Wendigo, because I know I'm going to get more Wendigo shots because Hive Armaments. So here I, I'm making a lot of use from the fact that we're getting uh, grenades every time we break a shield. When you're taking this unstoppable, as you can see, I pre-throw a grenade and then I wait I wait till he's fully out of the ground before stopping him. And then finish him with a Wendigo. Now I'm 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 literally just using this knight here to get shields. Uh, to, to break shields so I can get grenades. Because there was other ads here, every time I break one of his his, his shields, I was throwing the grenade at one of the ads. And just getting heavy back. So I've now that now that these champions are here, I literally just threw a grenade and, and just went for one of them. There's still that knight's still there. I didn't need to break his shield to get the grenade. I wanted to break his shield to kill him with the grenade. Because I knew I'd get a grenade back once I broke this guy's shield. Very simple. Now there will be probably a, a, an acolyte down here, but you're gonna get a whole host of of thrall come in. This is where impact induction coupled with the the top tree dawn blades melee ability come in because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge a grenade and I'm gonna throw it but I'm gonna try and let one one thrall come to us. Just about got my grenade back just from that. Let these other ads kind of build up around me and hopefully they'll run through the, the grenade. And there we go. That's a section done. The next section, we want to wait till we've got a grenade. That's why I'm running about just kind of scooping stuff up, just giving myself a little bit of chance to get it. There's going to be five acolytes, an arc shielded knight, and a champion. I try and take out some of the acolytes as soon as I get in there because they can be dangerous, but a pain with, with their... Uh, with their firebolt uh, kind of grenade annoyance, <laughs> I don't know what what I was, how else to say it. So I'm just I'm just killing some time here. Put down the rift because every time I kill an elite, I'm gonna get a rift back, so it's no big deal. So charge a grenade, throw it at this champion. Now again, he kind of moves into a position where. I, I, I just couldn't finish him. So move around. I, I, I put Ariana's away. Because Ariana's will reload if I stow it. And just ran around the other side. Finished him. It was no big deal. No big big deal at all. Throw a grenade round. Try and catch both of those acolytes. And then use, use, use a couple of Wendigo shots. Just to break this knight shield. And to stun him. And that is us. So, first real test is coming up, which is the ogre room. Now, what makes this so difficult is the ogre walks about the plateau, that kind of raised platform in the middle, and can shoot you from multiple angles. So, that is what we've got to be careful of. So, as soon as we get in here, there's going to be a couple of acolytes just kind of, just kind of hanging about the bottom. I've put a grenade down to kill the the red bars. And I'm going to use where Hive repurposing to keep getting grenades to start with from this high value target. 
you can see there I'm still scanning that elite up top there's a few of those elites they are so annoying so just be just be wary of them I'm going to use this the night as you can see there, I'm trying to hit him with the Wendigo. I'm going to use this knight shield against itself again. So I broke his shield and I just take a little bit off him and allow him just to stand in the grenade. Easy, easy work. And you can see those 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 elites are really annoying. What were, what the plan is, two knights came out from this. Once we took down the Shrieker, two knights came out from where we are now. Once we kill both the knights and we throw their orbs at the crystals, two more knights are going to come from this side. Just break this wizard's shield just to get my grenade back. What we're going to do is we're going to pre-kill this... Uh, I actually want her to go. We're, go. we're going to take down this other shrieker as well. It just allows us a bit more freedom. So, I'm just scanning for these elites you can see there managed to get a couple of them now i i almost i almost made a big error here do not put yourself into a compromising position to kill one ad especially when there's a massive ogre walking about as you can see i'm just i just because i know now that because i've engaged them he'll come back so I'm just going to use my Wendigo. There'll always be a couple of acolytes with these 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 uh, arc shielded champions, arc shielded knights. I've gone round this side because the you can lead the ogre. Now the idea of leading the ogre is basically wherever you go, the ogre will come to you. He'll come round to whatever side you're on. So if you want to attack on this side, go round to the other side and let the ogre know that you're there. Just try and get this break. He'll come over to where you are. And then you can come over and do what you've got to do over here. Same with these, these knights. Now I'm trying to let him get his shield back again. These knights, when you blind them, they just start walking. You can see he's now walking towards me away from the ogre. So I can kill him, take his orb run away in relative safety when you're running around this plateau make sure you skirt the wall because you don't want to give the, the ogre an angle uh, to shoot you from up top so another thing you'll, you'll notice as well uh when when you if you don't throw the orbs more knights will come so sometimes it can be i've seen people do it where you can just stand and basically farm four ads from four knights from one side i'll I much prefer to uh, work work the area, you know, because if you work out how to do these things, then you it doesn't matter what 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 the modifiers are or what what character you want to do it on. If you know how how everything works in an area, you don't you don't need to use specific weapons. You, you know, if you can do it, you can do it. You know. So what I'd done there was I broke that knight shield and I didn't engage because I knew those two elite snipers were up there. So I just, me personally, I just wanted to kill those snipers and that allows me a lot of freedom if they're not there. This is a great place to attack this knight from. It's this little rock, you're safe from the boss, you're safe from the adds. Now I've got him low enough, I'll just kill him. There is going to be another knight round the corner. It's not always round the corner. But most of the time he's round that corner. So I'm just letting my Wendigo reload. I'm going to go around. I'm going to stun him. There he is. I throw a grenade. And there we go. And I got my grenade. I almost got my grenade back. So I'm just going to wait for the grenade. If I was you and you wanted to just do it more efficiently. I would probably have not shot him and let his grenade come back his shield come back break his shield to get your your uh your grenade back now when we throw this orb we're going to release the ogre charge a grenade hit him with a grenade throw him the super and that's a section done very simple just be wary of any ads up here and there you go so charge the grenade hit him with a grenade throw and then you, you might have to hit him one more time but I didn't. So you might have to do it though. 
So now we're on to the boss, and before we get to the boss, I just want to, as I said, I would speak a little bit about the 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 streaming side of things. I'm not going to stream on this channel anymore. I've opened up a second channel live on Destiny. Uh, I'll put it in the description. Head on over there, guys. Show a bit of support. Uh, if you enjoyed watching the streams, but there'll be no more streaming on my main channel. That is the streaming done on there. If you want to watch the streams, go over to the other channel. And I, I look forward to seeing all you guys there. So when you get down here, when you get to the boss, you've got to make sure you've got a grenade. We're going to, same thing again, grenade a champion, break his shield. We get the grenade back, rinse and repeat. Now you can use your Wendigo just to keep some special ammo in reserve. I, I don't as you can see i kind of just hold off i would put a rift down probably before you do that you get your rift back every time you take out a champion now what i like to do here is i like it didn't work so well here because I, they were just a little well it did you see i just went after the wrong champion i throw a grenade and what happens is one of the champions invariably moves out the way and separates himself from the rest of the group and there we go, that's three champions down, there's one left up top. If you throw if you throw a grenade, one of them will jump out the way. You could be really unfortunate, two of them could jump out the way, but normally just one of them jumps out the way, it just makes it a little bit easier. So, rinse and repeat again guys, I'm just holding on to some special, because I noticed I've got a brick of heavy waiting for me. And there we go, so I don't know why I was reloading, but... You just store it and it'll reload if you've got the catalyst. So throw the grenade. I'm gonna hit him with hit him with a couple of couple of shots. Uh, and then put some Wendigo. And then that should be it. I say him because everybody always says her. It's 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 uh it's Oryx's son, Nocris. Just a little bug of mine. So this is my first wave. Right, so our first wave is just going to be some thrall, then some acolytes, and then the knights. I, what I'm trying to do here, just in case anybody's wondering why why is he standing there allowing them to hit him, I'm my my hand can is masterworked. I'm just trying to get orbs, just so I can make sure when it's all said and done, I've got my super ready to go. Now I could have. I could have pulled out the Wendigo and just... But I'm trying not to use ammo when I don't need to use it. So now that we we think we've took out all the Thrall, remember, just, just something I've not done, remember, you've got a Rift. You can always stick a Rift down. So what i done was I heard the audio cue that the Knight was ready. I jumped up, put a, put a grenade on the Knight, then a Wendigo, and basically he was left with nothing. So these are these knights. This area is really easy to police. Now this rock we're on is where I kind of stay for the first and the second wave, not the third wave though. Although I was tight, tight against the rock there. Normally you'll notice I don't go tight against it. I want to see what's going on. There's no need for me to be tight against that rock. I want to be able to see round it. I only went tight there because I knew all the other ads were down, and. I was trying to get an angle on on some acolytes. Normally, I, I kind of back away into the water behind the rock. And, and I can, you know, get a really good angle. The only time I don't do that is when Norcris is out. But when Norcris is out, I'm not standing anywhere statically. So once you've done, once you've killed the two knights, you're going to go up to this rock, grab this orb, break this crystal, charge a, charge a grenade, throw it at the boss, and then super. That should kill all the, the little lads that are there as well. As you can see, I'm just filling them, filling them full of Wendigo. I'm going to back away over here. And as you can see, that's that, that this is the second wave of ads. So I've got a grenade. I'm going to charge it and throw it at the portal. But you want to kill this right-hand wizard at all costs. Wizard dead. We are safe. You see how I've backed away. I, I want to be able to see what's coming. I'm still trying to just get some orbs and save some ammunition. Now, 
I threw a speculative grenade up to the portal. Just in case more ads were going to come. And it didn't look like they did. So in the second wave, I think it's, I think it's safe to assume there's nowhere near the amount of thrall in the second wave as there is in the first. But maybe that's just, you know, it just didn't look like it. So you get a wizard on the right and a wizard on the left. You kill the wizard on the right and you've got the freedom of this whole corner, right? But none of the knights will come until both the wizards are dead. So you you get a chance to find out if there's any extra ads. Same thing again, grenade, wendigo. Now be careful this time because the first wave, Nocris didn't fire at you. He does in the second wave, although he stays static. So as you can see here, all I'm doing here is just breaking shields and getting my grenade back and using the grenade, using the grenades uh, to, to, to help me do damage to the knights and then getting the grenades back from the knight's shields. Now at the start, I said, oh, I've, I've changed to burst jump instead of strafe. Strafe allows you uh, more, more aerial control. Right, that is what that that is what it allows you. Burst allows you to move faster. That is what you need here. Jump, it's it's, it's a delayed jump and, and boost. So you'll see here. I think I think it's I think it's on this run. It's one of these runs that when I wasn't jumping, the boss was just lasering me. But when I do that jump pause boost, he can't hit me. I don't. It's because the jump is, is, is pretty fast, I think. So, same thing again. Throw, throw, the, throw, throw the orb, charge a grenade, and then hit the Wendigo shots. And then we're, what we're going to do, the boss's fire attack is, is absolutely lethal. So I didn't stay to finish him. Now, it, it, it doesn't really matter because it wouldn't have killed him. My so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is the route I'm going to run in the third wave. Now I'm only going to run this route. He's going to dictate. Nokris is going to dictate which route I run. The rock I just come from to this rock are the two points I'm going to be running between for, for the third wave, which is the hardest part of this strike. If he is where he is now, I'll go up here. Just take that sniper out. You won't obviously have that sniper there most of the time. And this rock is where I will go to. These are the two points I will run between. If he was on the other side when I was at the rock on the other side, I would have ran round the outside round all the rocks. Now, the super really didn't do a lot to him because it never happened square on. But now, now we're in the hardest part. Norcris is now going to come out and he's going to move around the map. He's going to be hitting you. You're going to have ads. You're going to have acolytes. You're going to have, oh, you're going to have everything. So what I'm trying to do, because I don't have a grenade, see there, I'm just firing Wendigo off into, off into the void. This is the route I'm going to run if Nocris blocks my path to go round to the left from here. I'm going to run round the outside. Do not stay to smell the roses and use Wendigo to blind any ads that are shooting you. Now, I, I was very, very fortunate there. Because I, I never had forward momentum, but I was still shooting ads. So I got a grenade. I just put it there. That should take out the throw. And then when the knights start coming out, we can maybe use the knights to help us get more grenades, uh, more heavy. So I'm just changing. Just kill that throw. Get a reload. And then move. And it's, if you've got that burst jump, you really do get... It's quite difficult. It's quite difficult for for the boss to track, his shots to track you. Because he tries to fire them in front of you. But if you've got that momentum boost, you're always going to be in front of him. I would just want to break this knight's shield again. And now we'll put a grenade behind us. And what we're doing okay for, I'm just waiting until he gets his shield back. I want his shield back. I couldn't see Norcris. That's why I went back this way, because I figure it was safer to come back this way. As you can see, I'm just getting the blind on, getting my blinding effect down. 
and the Wendigo is just perfect. If you can't see Norcross in front of you, it's safe to say that you can go that way. Now, something I should add, not just about the Wendigo, but about the Warcliffe. Before this week started, I was I had it in my head that I was going to do Warcliffe. That was what I was going to do on this nightfall. Warcliffe destroys the ads. Really strong option. And then I remembered something. <clears throat> and you've probably seen it on your screen right there. <clears throat> when I killed that knight, the explosion from the Wendigo destroyed the orb. That was what why people never used to like using... Uh, Warcliffe on this strike because Warcliffe can destroy the orbs. Wendigo can do it as well. In fact, it's the arc explosion that does it because Wendigo doesn't have any kind of after effect shot. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to use the grenade to to kill to kill the the knights because obviously the orb will then stay there. So be very careful with that because you don't want you don't want a, a good run to go south because of your equipment. So what I'd done there was I broke that knight shield, I threw the grenade, and then I shot the Wendigo at the floor. And what that done was it still done a bit of damage, but it, it never done too much damage. You see here, I'm just, I've hit, I hit a direct shot, so I'm just running away from him. And now that's the second orb down. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go and collect that orb. We're trying to lead the boss away from the orb. I'm going to collect this orb. And then I'm going to get my grenade. I'm going to get my super. And it's it's not going to be enough to kill the boss. So there's a the grenade. There's the super. And then I can see there's a lot of adds up. I'm just going to move away so I can assess the situation. Can't see Nocris. So I'm going to do... My outside run, and then I just clock him out the corner of my eye, one Wendigo shot, and that's it. And that's the run done, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the run. I hope you've learned something from it. Again, I know I've said it once or twice in this video already, but I hope to see you all you guys over on the streaming channel. Uh, that's where I've done this run. This is where I do a lot of runs. It's not just going to be Nightfall runs with the lead up to Beyond Light. We're going to be doing a whole host of different stuff on the channel. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Again, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, a like would be much appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.